A former state trooper who survived a horrific crash on the side of the interstate is finding a new way to serve. Lowell Russell is the new state representative elect for the 21st district, which includes Monroe and Loudoun counties. Reporter Gabrielle Hayes talked to Lowell Russell today about what motivated him to run for public office. Lowell Russell says all people have something important to share with the world. Everyone's got a story to tell, and in some way, their stories are going to help somebody else out. And Russell has his own story. Back in 2012, he was a THP trooper parked on the side of Interstate 40 in West Knoxville when he was hit by a trucker who fell asleep at the wheel. The wreckage caught fire. I think things happen for a reason in our lives, and whenever I started law enforcement, I never would imagine that it would end getting run over by a tractor trailer. Russell survived, and it was that chapter of his life, he says, fueled him to look for a new purpose, a new chance to serve in a different way. But I didn't want to go home and after my crash and sit on the couch on disability, I wanted to go back to work and find a new way to serve. So he decided his next chapter would include running for state rep in the 21st district, which includes Monroe and Loudoun counties. I asked them what they expected out of a state representative, and I thought that I could fulfill the, their expectations, and I look forward in uh, doing that. Russell won with 76% of the vote. I don't know that it fully sunk in yet. It was really humbling. A lot of people has put their trust in me. He says while sharing his story pushed him forward, it was the stories of others that kept him going. So I think their stories made me a better candidate and a better person. And uh, it, it affects you. Everybody's story affects you in some way. Gabrielle Hayes, 10 News. His is a remarkable story. That newly elected state representative says he's hoping to focus on the economy, smaller government, and public safety while he serves in office.